Hey guys, what's up, Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So we'll take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you find that information below as well. All right, Taurus. You guys gotta give me a second. This deck is um I love it. It's just a little bit big for my hand, so all right. Ooh. All right, five of pentacles, five of wands, somebody's spying on a house, and that's not for all cases, obviously, that just came across. <clears throat> all right, Taurus, immediate future. All right, let's see. Need a future for Taurus, please. Ooh. All right, backtracking a little bit. That's what it looks like. Two cards for Taurus, please. Thank you. One more for Taurus. All right, well, they gave me two. All right. Confident as hell. It looks like like a business mindset, right? But you have the wheel of fortune here. So divine time and things are moving. They're changing. They're, it looks like they could be growing and expanding, but especially what's in yourself. So you have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but you also have the, um, the nine of pentacles. Very much confident, independent on your own, successful, like no bullshit mentality. Show me this. Um, and numbers break down to a 10 tens are about completions and things transformations and reduces to a one which is a new beginning all right so there's four ones for taurus so it's like it's all about stability here all right and there's that change scorpio energy right so this is things changing transforming within a connection a marriage a home this is a good luck card. This is a twin flame soulmate card. Like, um, this could be marriage or just some type of stability. But within this relationship, there's mutual love. There is a bond here. Things are changing. Somebody is stressed. Where the that's that Queen of Swords mentality. Uh logically thinking about things not coming from a heart space. Oh, uh, you don't trust it. It's like trying to change things after some betrayal, trying to get that trust back, trying to, I mean, because the seven of swords, it's like a liar to your seat, right? So normally I'm like, oh, yo, somebody's lying. But it, it didn't come across that way. Not because, because you have the queen of swords here or this person does. So there is love and you're trying to work the changes to stabilize things, but you don't trust it. Show me the seven of swords. Swords for Taurus, please. You're independent on your own. You may be a little intimidating, and in some instances, yeah, okay, wow. So, this person could be juggling you with a Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But look, it's not all about juggling, though. No. Let me see what's at the bottom. Eh, it could be. You don't trust this. All right, we're going to keep it general, right? Because we have the lovers here, Gemini energy, but there is a third energy. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it goes back to that you do have feelings towards this person, this situation. The higher fin is your energy. So it could be a marriage, but it looks like, you know, like somebody wants something committed here, monogamous, things like that, like traditional here. So these two cards together, sure, could be third party. But it looks like you're trying to transform things to work to get past that, but you don't trust it because it could have been a third party or there was one in the past.
could have been like a third party like around the house or I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. To somebody it does. And that's not for most either. But for some it was somebody living in the house. All right, show me this um, Nine of Pentacles for Taurus, please. This is you knowing your worth. The Queen of Wands, you're on fire. Like, you can't be touched. You could be busy, but you're very independent. You're very successful. You're very magnetic. Like, people are drawn to you. You could be really busy here. There are many aspects of yourself. See, yeah, there's an offer here. It could be an apology from a... Because <sighs> we have reunion cards here. See, the Empress at the bottom... Somebody's very much attached to you, but it looks like there's an offer here, an offer to reconcile um, somebody that wants to reach out to you um, and work on possibly like past issues, but it's also more than just that. Show me this judgment. It kind of feels like a good, confident, successful feeling. Thank you. Yeah, see what I mean? Victory literally means success. You're in the freaking spotlight here. Somebody is most definitely <clears throat> attached to you, has you on the brain all the time. It's like really wanting to reach out. There could be an offer to like link up to reconcile that type of thing because you're in the spotlight. It literally could be seen in the public eye. Show me this outcome for Taurus, please. So with the Queen of Swords here, you're still guarded, still not trusting the situation. But you're confident in your own right. You may be a little bit intimidating as well. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands, there is a decision here. You could have a decision between two people. A third party could pop up. But um, you're, it's, it's more so, okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune, things are moving forward. There's change coming. So there could be a choice here that, you know, you need to make. It could be between two people or, you know, this, this energy, um, tell me about this two of wands, where are we headed? Wow. That changed up quick. All right. So temperance energy is Sagittarius. But you're carrying some type of like resentment here or like anger, like holding on to something. With the temperance card, that's about, we're going to clarify it. But with the, see, we have the seven of swords here and now we're ending with the five of swords. So you don't trust this situation at all. I think you're still holding on to some anger. So it's trying to move forward, but still very guarded. Show me, um, oh, wow. Some of you guys got to be careful because um, the moon is Pisces energy. There's shit hidden here. Uh, there damn sure might be a third party. Because with the moon, <laughs> excuse me, that's Pisces energy. But this could be something that you're not seeing. This Ten of Swords is the ending, possibly because of betrayal. Because this Queen of Swords will swing that, that, that freaking sword and cut off what's no longer serving her. And it's like something here makes you angry. So you're like, temperance is all about healing. So we have an ending and somebody trying to let go of a situation. With the moon card here, there may be things hidden from you. Or that ending may be, um, yeah, that looks like it's, because this is a third party situation. There's things that are hidden. We have secret cards here. Possibly a third energy. Something at a distance. Could be heartbreak and pain that you're just keeping hidden. But it's coming out with that five of swords. Somebody's angry. See, yeah, it's like somebody from your past. Somebody that let you down or a situation like that. Possibly a situation involving children. There could be some arguments, some conflict, like conflict around that. 
somebody may be regretting their actions here. Damn, this came out of nowhere. It looks like something could be about to piss you off or piss someone off. So just be mindful of communication. Because something, something's changing here. Let me get advice for Taurus real quick. Somebody could have, um, I'll take those. Somebody could have got an offer here. Because sometimes the Queen of Wands can be like the mistress, the other woman. There could have been an offer here. Offer to hang out to reconcile on someone's part. This could be on your part. The Queen of Wands has a lot of admirers. But we do have two queens, one king. So take it how it resonates with you. Oh, anyway, so we got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Children, like I said, with uh, where does Six of Cups go? I don't know. But children, your love life is being affected by children. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, which is here for the outcome, literally. And trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So free yourself, even if it's just from anxiety, mental shit. Like, just let the pieces fall where they may. This is a part of destiny, a part of faith. And in the end, it does bring growth. This is a third party shit. And even though there is, there is love here. And that's where it started out. But there's also more to it. All right, Taurus. Sorry for the shitty reading. I hope it helped, though. I hope it resonated. Well, shit, no. I hope it doesn't. Because this is like a complete change. This went from good to what the fuck. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.